So anytime you open up Final Cut Pro, you want to make sure that you create a new library or add to the library that you have already created in the past. That's if you are working with the same computer. So for me, I'm going to open up a library that I just created. And so the library, every time you open up an old library, it's going to pull all the video that you've put in the past. So keep that in mind when you, um, if you work on a project that, that's enduring, like a group project or something, um, it's going to keep all the video there. But um, if you don't want to see any of your video anymore, if you've done a specific project, then you'll want to delete that library because otherwise you're just going to confuse yourself. So um, you've already been shown how to import your media. So this is going to be the SeaWorld media. And again, don't worry about the narration one clip. Um, just ignore that one. Um, that one's just kind of funny. And so from here, you want to double click. So you, we're going to B-roll to video. So this is, um, so I have specific clips that I want to happen at specific times. So this is why you would B-roll. And so the news voiceover, as you can see, it doesn't start right at the top. It starts a couple seconds in. So that's why I say don't start at the very beginning. So um, you can either drag the clip over so drag the endpoint in there, or you can set your endpoint by hitting the key I. So that sets your endpoint. And then you want to add that to the timeline. So she, I, for some reason, it's not taking my endpoint. But anyway, so you can still drag it from the timeline in there. So ultimately, her first audio, another opening. another opening, another show, and not just any show. So you want to bring up her audio just a skosh. So to do that, to bring up audio of an entire clip, you'll just bring it up a little bit. As you can see, it's growing here. Just bring it up. And so you see some peaks right there. There's a couple of reds. Just pay attention to those, OK? Um, so that's our, that's our audio. And so make sure your playhead is the beginning of the timeline. So wherever your playhead is, Wherever your playhead is, that is where your video could go if you want, if you hit these um, insert and overwrite keys or if you drag it in there. But this is your playhead. This kind of scrolls through your individual stories, a uh, part of your story. So you hit J and L circle. So that's the first clip in there. So I've already edited some of these clips, by the way. So, um, so when I say start the clip at 1405. So basically what you'll want to do is you want to play through this clip. So this is 1405 in the actual clip. So this is that's where this is, okay? So that's 1405. So then you'll bring that down into your timeline. Okay? For some reason this is a lot longer. See how big this timeline is? That's not not really what I want. So I'm going to hit command minus see how it makes it smaller <clears throat> this is actually the whole clip so um, so now um, what's going to happen is I want to edit this so I want to edit the end of it because obviously I don't want this to be the entire uh, story so you drag the clip so that it ends when the announcer says show so let's play her sound yes, it's another, opening. another show but, but not, not just any show so actually so it's, so she says, yes, it's another, opening, another, show. another opening, another show. So that's the end, another show. So then you drag the clip. So now I want to open this up a little bit. So I'm going to hit Command Plus. Make sure timeline a little bit bigger. So you listen back, it says, Okay, so now, and so I've played it through, but notice that there's, if I put a clip in there, it's going to give me a black hole. So if I hit the up arrow key, it takes me right to the specific endpoint of my next clip. So that's a good thing. Um, and then I go to UW Push Trainers, two trainers. 
And so again, I've already in inserted the correct endpoint. So it's 129.04. And so I'm going to drag that onto my timeline. So this time I want to play through, but not just any show. So again, but not just any show. So then I drag to that specific point that I've indicated. So I'm editing to her voiceover, but not just any show. So then I go to Whale Knot's Head. So I've edited this clip already. And so I'm going to drag this onto my timeline. Okay. So now I'm going to play it. Um, so Whale Knot's Head plays until she says this project. And it would take a lot more than an 8 by 10 glossy to get the director's nod for this project the director's nod for this project. So see what happens here, the reason why I put this in here at this specific time. So she says, so she noticed that I had that specifically start at that time, so then when she says director's nod, Shamu is nodding. So that's why I did it there. So then we just continue B-rolling from here. Um, so you select JNS, JNS, jump. So again, I put that in there. Um, so I'm popping at the end of this clip. The new killer whale show at sea World. So the new killer whale at SeaWorld. So, so that's pretty much at the end. So the whole clip. This is Belize, the new killer whale show at SeaWorld. Where they on so at SeaWorld. So my playhead is back. So I want to hit the up arrow key to take me there. S on to stage. and start the clip as she breaks the surface. So I'm going to start it as he breaks the surface. As, it's a man, I think. Right? Yeah. So, so we start it. This, this is what frame-specific video. So just as they start to break the surface, that's where I want to start. Because what you want to ultimately think about is editing so that the most exciting part of the video is on Um, so anyway, um, as you can hear, the gnat sound is really, really loud in a lot of these clips. So what I want you to do, it's kind of loud there, so you can bring down the audio of this clip just a skosh, but there's none there. This isn't bad. Because ultimately what happens is you want to have the audio under. And under means it's not drowning out the primary audio. So the primary audio is the voiceover. And to make it under, you want to have it. But hear how it's now overpowering the voiceover. So then you want to bring it down a little bit. So then... So I could probably bring it up just a little bit. So you can do it actually on the timeline. Or you can do it from your project pane or your ex inspector and just bring it up again a little bit. So you can adjust the volume here as well. So any minor adjustments you want to make to a clip, you have to select the clip and then go to this inspector. So anyway, so this is how you get started. And once you're finished, you always want to share the project to YouTube. So you can either go to File and Share and then go to your specific um, YouTube account, or you can go to Export File and then upload it manually to YouTube. Okay, um, And then always at the end of your uh, anything that you do, you want to close out your library so you're not um, confusing the next person.